Hello everyone. Today we're going to do an interesting thing. I'll, I'll actually uh, do you know us by the way? This is Radio and my son, right? High five. Okay. We are going to learn about how to. We're going to learn about probability in like the tree. The tree. As a picture, as a diagram, as a tree yeah. diagram. Okay, but also in the process, we'll also learn this, and this is for parents and, and educators out there, right? Yes. We we'll learn how to use YouTube uh, to learn something, but also use digital boards. We have a digital board here, uh, a digital board. The pen. The pen. I wonder the where the pen key. also works like a mouse, and there's also another mouse. Right. Uh, so where is the camera thing? Uh, we gotta find out. Okay, there's the camera thing. So we have the camera, uh, so that we can see if we're in the right place. Uh, okay, fine. There you go. Okay. Oh, these things are board. hard. Yes, these things are hard, but these things are fun once we start doing it. Yeah. Okay. So let's start it. No, we didn't introduce Barney. Say hi, Barney. He's just gonna sit and watch, but we'll also talk to him sometimes, right? You are weird, man. <laughs> oh, he's weird. Barney's weird. He's trying to play a Rubik's Cube and watch us do probably. What's the probability that Barney's gonna solve the Rubik's Cube before we're done? Probably zero since he's a doll. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's called that? What's the zero probability called? Impossible. Impossible probability. What's the opposite probability of an impossible probability? Certain. Certain probability. Okay, great. So now, what, what are we going to do? We're going to play a YouTube video that shows how to do a T diagram. It's a very basic one, but... Why are you saying play a YouTube video? Are you going to, like, play a game? Don't talk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, in this T diagram, they showed examples of blue and red balls but they didn't actually show blue and red balls we have blue and red balls here. so yeah but one of they showed seven blue balls so we're using a substrate of green as blue mm-hmm mm -hmm. here okay and they show three red balls so he's gonna show you how to you know uh, in the tree diagram they're gonna show how to pick up this random list and we put this in the bag bag uh, yeah. And we'll also do random picks, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens in the YouTube. Hi, this is a probability question that we're going to solve using a tree diagram. But let's just read the question first. Jenny has a bag with seven All blue right, sweets so and three red sweets in it. As you can see, there is a problem in the YouTube that's showing... Um, that Jenny has a bag with seven blue sweets and three. No wonder they didn't use a bag because the sweets would totally mess it up. Okay, we have balls that looks like sweets, right? All right. Yep. And then places it and then picks again at random. Draw a tree diagram to represent this situation and use it to calculate the probabilities that she picks. A, two red sweets. B, no red sweets. C, at least one blue sweet. D, one sweet of each color. All right, so we got the problem set up, right? What does the problem say, Ridwan? What does the problem say? It says, what's the probability that Jenny will pick two red sweets? No, start from the beginning. Describe the problem. Okay, so Jenny has seven blue, so one. So put, put the blues in there. Yeah, so one. Down. Two, three, oops. We put them, put them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is six, yeah, I think. Seven. We don't have seven blues, so we substitute with And she has three. Three reds. Okay, three reds. Now, she's going to pick. A sweet at random from the bag, no color prefer preferences, right? Mm -hmm. Then she places it back. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then what? Then. Then picks it again okay. at random. Random. Okay. Based on that, we'll draw a tree diagram. 
following the YouTube to represent the situation. Yeah. Have you seen a true diagram before? Yeah, I have. Where? In American. In, well, I saw some problems of it and I saw it in Cyberchase. Tree diagram? Yeah. How does it look? How does it look? Well, it's practically, if you write two, and then there's one connecting there, one connecting there, one and one. And in the middle of them, plus. One ah. plus one equals to two, something like that. That's something like that. It's true. And so if you write four, you can do two, two, one, 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 one. Okay. So you can show it here, right? Do you want to draw something like this? Yeah, give it to me, please. Okay. So practically, we have, um, yes, we have. Oops. It went all the way there. Okay. You, you need to know how to use the digital pen. You may have to use it there or there. You don't know. Okay. okay. Give it to me. Just imagine. Oops. Right, okay. Now I go to back, so... Mm -mm. It's gonna go back there. Why? That's how it's orientated. Okay, so let me write four. <gasps> no, this is gonna make people really bored. Okay? Really bored. No, this is not how you do it. It's wasting a lot of time, okay? So... Uh, you gotta go straight to the straight to the point. Two, you said, right? And this is what you said, right? Yeah, one, gone, one, 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 and that means. It, it's not three. only like this. Write four, please. Write four, okay. Then these will be two. Oh, so this will be two. This will be two. two. And now you can draw another one like this. Over here. Yes. And then over here. Yes, and, and these will be one. Okay, what do you think they're called tree diagrams? Because they branch out like a tree. Exactly. Like one thing connects to another. It's just like the branching of a tree. Great. Okay. Let's just adjust this a little bit. Okay, let's see. Let's carry on with this and see. So, how do you think they're going to start the tree diagram? Um, I think they're actually going to see, mm -hmm. like, they're going to say, there are 10 balls in total. Okay. Seven. Okay, so write down 10. Write down. Uh, write down 10. Then give one of those like branches that I show you in three dimensions. One branch or two branches? Two branches. Three branch. Two branch? Yes. Why, two why are you deciding for two branches? Because this will split up. Why not three? Because there are only two objects. Two objects? Like no, one? no, like, 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 there are ten objects. Forming two objects. Okay. <laughs> okay, so practically there are two different kinds of. Two objects. different kinds of objects. Two. That means you got two different kinds of objects. If you have like, if there was ten mm. like objects in total. But if there was something like maybe a green ball, mm. one green ball, three red balls, six red balls, I mean six blue balls. Mm. So then you could write three branches and then you can write them separately. Like okay, that. makes sense. So let's see what the video says now. Okay. I don't know if that's true. Or just wait, just wait. You haven't written there seven blue and three red and a plus. Should we? Okay. Yes. Let's see if that's what we get. I'm not sure if they really did that. All right. Well, let's start off by drawing our tree diagram. We we'll look at the first bit first. There are two possibilities that she has. So we do draw a sort of double branch like that. Mm. Uh, one represents her picking a blue sweet, the other one a red sweet. I'm oh. using B and R to mean blue and red. Something to learn. They didn't put numbers. What did they put? They put, because each of these blue, red, and these things, right? Mm blue, red, it's actually going to, uh, it's actually representing what are you picking up? Are you picking up a blue? Because each time you're not picking up two, you're just picking up one of them, hmm. right? So, want to pick up something? One. Yeah. Blue. <laughs> blue, okay. It's most likely that. Right, okay, let's put it back. Okay, let's carry on with the video and see what it does. 
Now, what about the probabilities of that? Well, because there are ten in all, and seven of them are blue, the probability of a blue is seven tenths. Um, Does it make sense? Yes. Because blue... Blue is actually more likely to be chosen. Right, and what is the number that that, that more likely thing is going to be? Because there are ten objects, mm. then you divide seven by ten mm -hmm. and see the probability of how much blue thing blue but, is. Okay, okay, so let's do this. Let's get this thing out of here. Um, let's drop eight. No, let's just do it like what he's doing for now. Okay. okay. And see, really, so you start off there, and either you pick a blue or a red, or you pick a red. Okay. Now he's saying that the probability of picking this blue mm -hmm. is seven over ten. I want you to say this in English, really. You mathematically, you say 7 divided by 10, 7 over 10. Tell Barney, you know? Tell Barney in English. You are weird. No, I'm not weird, really. Tell him. Barney, you see that? You know, blue pickup is. He's not going to understand 7 divided by 10. Tell, tell him in English, come on. It's practically. Look at Barney. What do you think? He's not watching you? Very attentive student. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Look, he's even, he's even putting his rubies cube aside. Okay, weirdo, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling Barney. Look at him. I'm telling Barney, okay, you weirdo. <laughs> okay, so, practically. Yes, so it means that we're, div we're making. We're making 10 slots and we're putting part of 7. Parts of 7. I know, it's still making it difficult, right? Why can't you just say that in English, like slots? I don't, uh, I don't understand. Make it easier, come on. Okay, okay. So practically... <laughs> People are watching. They won't like it. Okay. How do you make it easier? <sighs> Alright, 7 over 10. Yes. How do you say that in English? <laughs> 7 over 10. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are the other ways of saying that? 7 divided by 10. That's math. It's words! It's, it's an English word! Okay, 7 to 10? Oh. How? 7 out of 10. That's also math! Out of 10 is math? Yes. yes it is. The probability of selecting a blue ball is 7 out of 10 is because there are 10 objects in total, there are 7 blue balls, so all you can do is have a chance of selecting one blue ball, yes. that's 7 out of 10. There are yes. 10 different options that you have, yes. and taking a blue ball, you have 7 options from there. So that's it, 7 options from 10 options. Now say it for the red ball. Okay. So Barney, it's three. Yeah, okay. got it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay. Tell him, come on. Don't worry. Okay, so it's three out of ten. Yeah, what is that? What is that three out of ten? Three out of ten? It's three tenths. Yes, you say the full thing. What is the three out of ten? Three out of ten probability of selecting a red ball. That's how you should say it. Complete it. Okay. There are audiences out there watching us. They go three out of ten. What does it mean by three out of ten? What words that three out of ten dogs? No, no, no. Three out of ten. Red Candy. Ball. Selecting three out of ten. Red balls. Okay, let's move on. No, no, no. Not trying now. We'll go on and see what he does. Listening. 
probability of red is three tenths. Now, what about the second pick? Well, she has replaced whatever she picked first time, so we've got exactly the same situation in the bag as we started with. So, now we're going to redo it. Pick something. No looking. Aha! So the probability of this, that it got selected, is what? 3 ten. 3 ten, right. Now, after selecting this at random, what did you do? What did Jenny do? Put it back. Put it back, okay. And then select another one. Wait, step by step. She put it back. She put it back. Right, don't fall asleep. Watch here. All right. Then what? She put it back. Okay, then what does that mean? To put it back and not put it back? It means to like. Say in terms of the total changes. If she puts it back, is there a change? Yes. What's the change if she puts it back? <laughs> Nothing. Look what Barney says. No change! No change! Because she just put it back and it's the same thing! So when you put back something where you get it from, there's no change. You gotta think before you answer, okay? Barney, you're a very good student. Keep listening. Oh, Mom come asleep. on! You can't do that. You <laughs> but it's not in a swing! Cheers, boy. No, no, no. <laughs> Keep <People> watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know he's an audio student than you are. Okay, don't worry. Okay, let's keep on watching. <laughs> okay, I won't do it anymore. So, she picks a blue first, then she's still got the same probabilities of clicking, picking up. That's what it means. So, when she put everything back, okay, mm -hmm. and then fr starting from here, yeah. hmm? What is the probability that after she puts everything back, she gets gain two probabilities of picking it up? Huh. Okay, again two probabilities of picking it up yes, here as well, of right? Course. Now, from here, where she starts, mm -hmm. is actually seven out of ten, right? Yes. Can you say what's going to be here and here? Well, this is going to be three. No, no, no. They can't see you if you put the finger. Okay, okay. You can use this. Okay, so on the green one, where you branched it out, mm -hmm. the bottom one would be 3 over 10. This one? Yes. The 3 over 10. Why are you saying that? Is this going to be a red or a blue? It's going to be a blue. Is this going to be a blue? 3 out I of mean, 10. I mean, red, red. Yes, yeah, say what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a uh, red, and this, this is, is a blue. Blue. All right. So let's see what they did. Blue or a red second time. And if so, it should be the same in here, right? Three out of ten. Okay. It should be the same on the down one as well. What, what should be here? The number? The number. It should be blue here. Blue. And this should be 7 over 10. This should be 7 over 10. And the red will be 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. Okay. Now, okay, let's carry on with the video. He picks red first. It's exactly the same again. So those are the uh, probabilities for her tree diagram. We've just got two more columns to do. First of all, the outcome, and secondly, the probability calculations. So look, what they did. Well, the outcome. What they did was also they said that this is the first pick. Hmm. Then they put it back. Yes. Then this is the second pick. Okay. Yes. Second pick. Now, what that what what that means is, after putting a after taking a first pick, you put it back and you put the second pick. Um, then you are repeating things, right, the same way. But then the question would be, what in total the, the picks that you have in the first pick and the second pick, uh -huh. what were they together? So I'll give you an example. So 
For example, you pick this. Oh, blue. Okay. Yeah. Put it back and pick this. Oh, blue again. So the probability of picking a blue and a blue in the first and second pick together. Yes. That's the probability that they're going to calculate. So the same way. Oh, let me see if I. See, the <laughs> more likely probability is right. Okay. So, so if you have this in the first pick. Yes. Put it back. Take another one and this in the second pick. Yes. Then together they make this. Yes. Now the That's question happened. the question they had initially, remember? What is the probability of picking two blues, two reds, no blues, all those things? Yeah. That's what they're answering here. Okay? So they're now in in the column of outcomes. So this is a column of the outcome. Outcome. Outcome meaning how many? Not the probability. It's just how many they're getting. The first pick get a blue, second pick blue, blue, blue. In the first pick a red, second pick a red, red, red. Okay? So uh, what they're trying to do is now show the outcome. Okay? And look where the outcome is written. The outcome is written around here. Okay? Why is it written here? Because, okay, by the way, what would be the outcome of the first pick and the second pick? here. Do you know what would be the outcome? The outcome of the first pick. No. Outcome means you have already picked them up in the first pick, you have picked them up in the second pick. Now we're talking about total outcomes. Okay? Okay, there could be like blue, blue, no. blue, yeah. red. So red, here, blue, here, tell red, me what blue. tell me what's gonna be red, here. Red. Here. Hmm. Here's gonna be blue blue. There. How do you know that? Because on the first pick there's blue, on the second pick there's blue as well. Very good. Here, what's going to be the outcome? Blue, red. Because on the first pick there's blue, on the second pick there's red. Blue, red. Here? The difference here is you pick red first. So, it's going to be red, blue first. And then here? Red, red. Red, red. Oops. Red, red. Great. Okay. Now we have the outcome. Now, up until here, there's really no maths or probability calculation. Yeah. Okay. What now is going to happen is we're going to calculate the probability of having a blue blue. As you can see, there the are blue blue. Probability of having a blue blue is very, very common. We don't know that yet. No, we do How because do you know? there's more blues than anything else. Right. So from there we know. It's from the beginning we know. But if it has a first pick and a second pick. Yes, but it's not certain. But it's like from, likely. It's likely to happen. From here, can you say whose probability is the most? Just looking at this. Probability is the most blue blue. Just from looking at this. Yes. Lo looking at the outcomes here. Yes. Why is it? Why do you say looking at the outcomes? It looks like more blue blue blues. No, I said it looks more. Are you saying one blue or two blues? Two blues. I don't see two blues many here. Do you see two blues many here? No, I see blue blue. That's what I mean, blue blue. Do you see many blue blues in the outcome? No. What do you see? Just one blue blue. Then how can you say? How many outcomes are there, by the way? There are four. Right. The four outcomes. Do you see out of the four outcomes more blue blue, more red red, or more blue red? All of them have an equal chance of. Do that, that, does the picture show that? These outcomes? Look at the outcomes. Look. Look at the outcomes. How many outcomes? Blue blue, only one. Blue red, only one. Red blue, only one. Is there a difference between blue red and red blue? No, it's just that we pick one. We pick red first and red blue. Right. Okay. And we pick blue first and blue red. And this one is? This one is red red. Which one is more more? Which one is more likely here? Blue blue because because it's more likely to get blue. So if you get blue twice, which is likely to happen, it should be more likely because all of them are one. If one of them was more than one, let's say there was blue red and there was another blue red, it also had a chance. I don't know if it's bigger than that unless we calculate it. Okay. Now let me ask you the question. What are these outcomes really? These outcomes are really like if you randomly pick up a sweet, 
No, you have a blue. Okay, I get it. Okay, a blue. So we pick a blue. Mm -hmm. And then if we pick a red, then it's going to be blue red. It's going to be one of this. Yes. Right? Actually, this. Because first you pick the blue, then you pick the red. Right? Okay. So now we have the blue red. Okay. La just this way, how many outcomes are there? There are four, let's say. Out of these four outcomes, which do you see more happening? None of them. I see blue red happening more. Two but times out of the four times. Why? Yeah, you can see it. I can have a blue blue. I can have a blue red. I can have a blue red again. I can have a red red. That's a red blue. Same thing as a blue red. No, it's not. It's come on. There's a difference. It's red picking up first, then blue picking up first. Did you see the question here? What is the calculate the probabilities that she picks two red sweets? Here's the two red sweets. Calculate the probability that there's no red sweets. Here's there no red sweets. Yes. So at least one blue sweets, at least one blue sweets here, and also at least one blue sweets here. Yeah. One sweet of each color. One sweet of each color here. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see now. Uh, no, you're not understanding me, I guess. I am understanding No, you. like, it's more likely to get blue. Let's see. So, random, I close my eyes, mm. there's red. Then I put it back, and then I close my eyes, I got blue. So, I have red, blue. Now, let's say, yes, I have blue. Then, I have blue again. Right. So just like that, it's more common to get blue, blue, because it's more common that you will get a blue. Okay. So if you get blue twice, I'm not saying that you're not going to get this all the time. You're going to get this because there's blue inside of it already, but mm -hmm. there's not a very good chance you'll get red. Okay. Now That's let's look how they calculate this probabilities of getting blue blues, red blues, etc. Okay branch is blue and then blue decalculations. Well, the outcome of this first branch is blue and then blue, so I've labeled it BB. And the probability is 7 tenths times 7 tenths uh, because it's blue and blue. And if you remember, when you're adding two things. Can you guess why this will be because you're multiplying blue by blue. Why are you multiplying? Why are you not adding it? No. This is the probability. Why are you not adding 7, 10, and 7, 10? But why are you multiplying it? We didn't learn that. Yes. But can you guess? Because the blue is multiplying with the blue. Blue, blue. <laughs> this is not algebra B times B. Then it's going to be B squared. Why are you multiplying two probabilities? You're multiplying two probabilities because we want to get the answer. Because first of all, we have How does multiplication work? If you think about that. Multiplication. And why is not adding? Why is it multiplying? How does addition work? Because can also, you know, someone who's learning this for the first time can say, oh, we get a first pick blue and a second pick blue. Why don't you just add the probability and say, okay, 7 over 10 plus 7 over 10. Yeah. But no, to calculate that the probability is going to be a blue, blue, first pick, second pick together, replacing it back is multiplication. Why? Why not an addition? Then we get to think, how does multiplication work? What are the basic questions, remember? So multiplication works like if you have two objects, you add them. Like you have two plus two. What you can do is actually multiply two there instead of adding. Because it, multiplying that actually says 
that you're adding two of those objects. Okay, fine. What else does multiplication mean? We haven't been discussing about the meanings of multiplication a lot of times now, right? Yeah. And that's why you're not really confident about it, okay? How about this? Does multiplication have a relationship with division? Yes. Okay. So think about this. If you multiply three times y, yes. what, what does it actually mean? It's, it means you're adding three fives. You're adding three fives. No. Yeah. Yeah. What else could it mean? It could mean that there are there are five threes. Right. So there are five threes or there are three fives. Yes. Right? Very good. Can you also say it this way? When you're saying three fives, so mm -hmm. it's something like this, you got five, five, and five. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Can you say that for each of these three, for each of these three, there is a five. Like, can we say... Like, not each of these three. I, I said it wrong. I said it wrong. When there is three things, for each of those things three times, there is a five. For each of those things three times. I mean, you have to go three times. Yes. But each time, there is a five. Each time, there is a five. And yes, you can only go it three times that way. Yes. Right? Now do with a three, something like Limits. this. Three, 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 three. No, that's six. Six trees. All right, six trees. So for each of these trees, for no, 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 for each of those five steps, there's a three. Yes. Right. Yeah. Now think about the probabilities here. This is interesting because now you'll know why they're multiplied and not added. When you have a chance of getting a blue 7 out of 10, yes, right? That means you actually have this. You actually have uh, 10 different options. Yes. For each of this, seven. for each of, well, it's not really yet. So you have, out of this 10, I'm just, I didn't know how many there are really. Out of this 10, let's say these are 7, okay? Now for each of these, you go one, two, three, four, five, six here, uh, seven here, let's say, okay? Now, when you put them back, yeah. again, you're doing the same thing, right? So again, you're repeating it for each of those out of 10 things. Do you, get, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's every time four out of ten, you're doing the same thing, just like you uh, did something here with the three and five. So uh, three and five here. So that's why three times five and five times three always becomes the same. Hmm? So, all right, how, how about thinking it this way? If you add... Yeah, I understood. You understood? Yeah. That's why they're multiplied. And there's another, there's actually a common rule. That's that's like the logic of multiplication in probability. But there is a common rule that if you want to find the probability of um, something at the end, at the end of a branch of the tree diagram. If you want to get a probability here, then you always get a multiply along the branch like this along the branch huh? uh, here along the branch if you multiply the probabilities then it will be the probability of this In the same way if you multiply you, you want to get a probability of blue red what should you do we should multiply seven over ten and three over ten and three over ten and that's what they're going to do okay five so the, just wait just wait Pause that gives us 49 over 100 so practically, 7 over 10, mm -hmm. no, I mean, 
so blue red and red blue have the same chance of being picked. Yep. Because so 50 50 chance for blue red and red blue. Exactly. Because they're practically the same thing. Right. Okay. That's a very good observation because that's what they're going to find out. Look. The next branch is first blue, then red, BR for short. Make a red of 49%. Uh, 7 tenths times 3 tenths, 2100. This branch here is first red, then blue, RB, 3 tenths times 7 tenths, 2100. 21 hundredths. And the fourth one is two reds, first red, second red, 3 tenths times 3 tenths, 9 hundredths. Now, so it's always a good idea to do a check here. But so practically, what... Oh, you, can, you can get this screen reader now. Okay, so practically, the... Th practically, it, this, the blue balls are 40% more chance. You, there's 44 there's 40% more chance you're going to pick up a blue ball than you're going to pick up a red one. Mm, because it's 49 and 9? Yeah. Uh, yes. Because this probability is being calculated out of 100. So basically, um, if you add all of them, which is going to do now, uh, you will see that all of this percentage will add up to 100%. Okay, I can't that simple. Just wait. So 60, 70, it needs 30, which it got. Done. Right? Yeah. So let's see how he does it. Because all of these four probabilities uh, add up to one because they're the only four possibilities in the situation. And they do add up to 100 over 100, which is one. So we've done our check. Now let's look back at the question. We need to work out the probability that she picks two red sweets. Mm. Well, we've actually done that one. It's this yeah, practically all number that here, that nine hundredths. So it's nine percent, or point nine. Yeah. There we are. Answer to that first part. Second part, no red sweets. Well, the only thing which has no red sweets in it is the blue-blue combination. And we've already calculated that. That's 49 hundredths. And so is that. Now we're getting it more complicated. Now it's an interesting. It said at least one blue. At Which least one, one blue. Hmm, the percent of it. Do you know how many percent that's going to be? One blue. At seven, least. seven over ten. At least one blue. Seven over ten. What did you get that? 21 over 10. 21 over 10, at least one blue. At least one blue. You know, there are many, many, okay, so here's oh, a. Oh, so that, oh, it's not here's seven. Here's a combination you have. You got blue, blue, you got blue, red, you got red, red, okay? And you also got uh, another blue, red, actually. Right now? Yeah. And these are the things. So, at least one blue, think about it. So everything besides this, that's one. What's beside this? Say the name, they can't Besides change. the red, red. Yes, everything besides the red, red. But the rest, how do you calculate what is that probability? It's simple. Why don't we just add them? Why don't you just add them? That's right, add them. Yeah, that's going to be simple. Look. Why do you add them? Why, why don't you just... Multiply it? No, you want to multiply it. Come on. You have to add them, but what else can you do? How much does all of it make? Hundred. Why don't you subtract it? It's it's easier to do it this way. That's why. It's easier to add it. Yeah, just look. Okay. This plus this sixty because this is and seventy because this is sixty and this is. This 10. is this is this is I understand this this this. Because the okay. people who are watching us can see your this, this, this. Okay, okay, okay. So 21 and 49. 20 plus 40 equals to 60. 9 plus 1 equals to 10, so 70. And then 70 plus 20 equals to 90. 
Mm -hmm. Phone ringing. I'll just uh, take it later. Okay. Uh, so what was the answer? The answer was... The answer was 91. 91 over 10. 91%. We need to uh, find at least one blue. So this has got a blue, this has got a blue, this has got a blue. There are three possibilities. And we get these by adding because it's this or this or this. And if you remember or in probability means add them together. Uh -huh. So when we add those three together. Those are the things we haven't learned about probability rules. If it's or, multiple ors, add all the problems. If it's, if it's 49% or 21% or 21%, then just add them all. Okay, but these are rules that will come up later in probability lessons. Okay, we haven't we just started probability, remember? Oh, yeah. And the tree diagram is a good way to actually sense of how probability is working. Yes. Okay. We'll get our answer. It's blue, red, red, blue, or blue, blue. Adding them together, we get that, which totals to 91 over 100. The oh, next we... question. The next question. You see the next question? One sweep of each color. Then it's practically just 21% 20, plus 21%. Wow. So that's our <laughs> answer. <laughs> but. Barney! Did you understand anything? Barney, did you understand anything? Say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me do an annotation of this. Yes, I understood everything. I also understood that he's a naughty child. Ah! <laughs> no, you don't hit your fellow classmates. Okay, okay. No, learning math is not everything in life. You've got to learn behaviors. Can you carry on? Viewers are watching, okay? How the heck are you carrying this Rubik's Cube when you're like this? But there is another slightly quicker way of doing it. Let's hey, do that as well. There's a slacker! There's a slacker! Uh, uh, the only one which doesn't have a blue in it is this one and since we've got all our possibilities adding up to one if we take this possibility away from one then everything else must have a, a blue in it at least one blue so our working is going to be one minus the possibility of two reds which is one minus nine hundredths which is ninety one hundredths I same answer no surprise it's the same answer but it's just a different way yeah. of getting to it now what about the last one? One suite of each colour. Well that's just the two middle branches. First blue, then red, or first red, then blue. So it's this or this. So we add those two probabilities together. Blue red plus red blue. Twenty one hundredths plus twenty one hundredths. Forty two hundredths at which we may choose to simplify to 21 fiftieths. Just finishing off, let's look at our tree diagram again. Remember that as you go along a branch, you're doing one thing and another thing, so you multiply the probabilities. Each branch has multiplied probabilities. But when you're doing uh, answering questions at the end, you might have to add these because you're doing this or this, this or this, etc., etc. So remember, multiply along the branches, but add the results of those multiplications uh, to get your answers. Did you get that? And also in probability, like they said, um, or is adding, yes, and is multiplying. Okay, uh, something that we we'll learn later. Okay, I think that was a really good video on, you know, how to...